Yo. So tonight I built a thing. The workmanship is not very good, but I think it'll work. Let's try it out. So maybe we have a user. And they make a call to an atom, which makes a call to a database. The database returns some stuff. And maybe the atom makes a call to a friendly robot. Get some info back. And then the atom responds to the person. This is what you would call So let's talk about the atom. So the atmosphere platform is actually the interface. That's where you'd actually configure the process itself. So that's where you're building. You know, branch, start shapes. Multiple things going on here. So you're configuring the process in drag and drop in the actual tool, and then you deploy that to an atom. That atom could be either in the cloud or behind a firewall. The build tool, always in the cloud. An atom can be in the cloud or it can be on-prem. The on-prem atom almost has a sort of heartbeat every you know, few seconds where it's going out to call the cloud platform. Cloud platform is not calling in, but it'll respond. Uh, so you don't have to open anything up. The atom will ping out to the, uh, to the platform, see if there's command waiting, something like maybe an execution command uh, or a deployment com command, something like that, maybe an asynchronous uh, execution API call that's kind of queued up some sort of thing. If it does get a, a command to sort of execute it, then it'll just sort of do its thing, execute the process. That happens pretty much the same way, whether it's on-prem or in the cloud. So this thing is a light board. Uh, I ended up using just a piece of glass that I had from a whiteboard that I didn't put back up after we renovated our house. I'm not fully sold on this piece of glass. I might swap it out with a piece of thicker plexiglass. And the reason is it's got these LED lights all the way around that are supposed to shine light in and then it just sort of gets trapped in the glass. And then it can really kind of only escape when it gets to these sort of colored layers and I think also it would escape if it gets to my hand not exactly sure but this has a little bit of like opacity to it so it seems like it pops a lot more out near the edges than it does in the middle maybe that's fine maybe I just keep my face in the middle and kind of draw around um, but the idea is that it pops anywhere throughout I, in, in, an, in a well set up board here. But this was kind of, I won't say using what I had, but using minimal purchases. I got a couple, couple lights from Amazon, an LED strip, some Home Depot lumber. I had the piece of glass already, got a black backdrop from Amazon. I'm just using the webcam that I turned around and put on a 
a chair and uh, what I key in is like foam building structures. Um, so yeah, I think I will continue to fine tune both the setup and the way I'm using the setup. I think there are a lot of uh, a lot of tweaks I can make in like the streaming tool and the recording tool and that sort of stuff to to do this better and better. So color me intrigued. For the sake of capturing it on the recording, I'm gonna try the different colors right now and just see how they see how they do. That one's red. Looks good up there. Looks okay in the middle. That one's yellow, that looks real good up there. Green looks pretty similar to yellow. Blue. And orange. Orange pops pretty nicely up there. So the green, the yellow, and the green and yellow look pretty similar. Orange looks a bit like them as well. Blue has a bit of its own tone. I would say pink is the most distinct. Kind of seems like, was that yellow? Or maybe orange. All, actually, all of them pop pretty well when it's when it's up near the edge, much less so down in the middle. So, anyway, it's a thing. It's probably like two in the morning. What the fuck is going on? <sighs> I gotta go to work tomorrow.